Hi, my name's Lee Pond. Welcome to day two at this lovely little lake we found here in Hertfordshire, the little syndicate water. It's gorgeous. First thing this morning, and there's a few fish moving there. Yesterday we caught them on the damsels. Um, it took a bit of working out. It was a hard day, but once we got the method sorted out and got the fly sorted out, we caught fish straight away, which was great. Really enjoyable day. This morning, different prospect altogether. That wind's a little bit cooler. I've seen a couple of fish moving right on the edge of that ripple line there, but probably even just a bit further out. So what I've done, I really fancy fishing the dries today. I've got two dries. I've got a size 14 hairs here, sugar cube, and a size 10, the same. Just the same, same flies, both sugar cube, just two. Degrease my leader. I fancy I'm gonna to have to fish this at distance. It might be tricky to actually hook one if we do get a take. Um, but yeah, that's the whole idea of coming today, really, just to see if we can get them on the dries as well. So let's uh, let's have a have a few casts and see what happens. But um, just a wonderful place to be, to be quite honest. Just tucked away in the Hertfordshire countryside, you'd never know it was here. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's try a shorter one first, as I'm already caught up on the the undergrowth. Oh, look at that one there! Look straight in front of me. Too far to cast to. Oh, what happened there? Is there anything? No. It's not going to be so easy to cast as here, but all right, go on. The biggest problem I'm going to have here is I can't see those flies where they are, to be honest with you. They're too far away. All I'm going to look for is any movement, and if I see a splash, a rise or anything, I'm going to lift. But I've not seen any fish moving close in here. I'm not saying they're not here, I'm, I'm sure they are. But that wind's a bit chilly this morning, it's surprising for a July day. Probably a bit shorter now. Yesterday I caught a couple of fish in this sort of area here. Let's try it in a little bit closer. At least I'll have more contact if I do get a, a take. I mean, not knowing anything about this place, I mean, I don't know what flies are best what flies work the best i mean that was yesterday's problem really working out what was going to be the best fly but the obvious look at that fish there look they're not jumping out and feeding you know they're jumping out stressed uh yeah, i mean it's not hot but they're just obviously a bit stressed there's another one they're way out these fish a long way out too far to cast to let's try a long one come on Get out! Oh yeah! I mean, the good thing about the sugar cubes is, is that they'll stay buoyant. You know, if you're fishing something else, which is um, like a hopper type fly or whatever, if you just pull it, it'll maybe sink down below the gink. Will just oh, that was quite close. There's a weed bed to my left hand side, I can see it there, and you'd expect fish to be patrolling in and out of there. I haven't seen any yet, mind you, I haven't got my Polaroids on this morning. It makes everything so dark. It takes a while before your eyes get accustomed to the, to the glasses. <laughs> Let's try one in there. You never know. Just try all the different angles, I guess fish in different ways and I mean I don't normally leave my dries on the water for much longer than a, a few seconds to be honest. It seems to be that as soon as they touch the water that within about three seconds if they don't have it they're not going to have it. Oh look at that carp there look at that. 
<laughs> just swimming underneath my line there. That's got to be a good 10 pound, that one. Oh, had a little splash at those. He's on. <laughs> I just saw him. Just knows it. Wonderful. Took the big one. Right, as as far as I could cast that was. Lovely in the sunshine. Early morning rainbow on the dries. Maximum distance. <laughs> Go! So that's been the killing fly this morning. Um, it's, it's been hard, um, but we've only been here for a couple of hours. That's all we could uh, afford today. Um, but enjoyable all the same, but uh, it's been a real challenging um, experience trying to catch them at distance. I mean, we're casting out to where those ducks are there just with a single dry on and uh, all you just got to look for is just a bit of disturbance in the water. And as soon as you see that bit of disturbance, just lift the rod and bang, they're on there. But thanks for joining us again. Keep those messages coming. We do read them and we do respond to them. Press that, that button for us. And we hope to again to see you soon on the bank. Tight lines. <laughs>